everybody I hope you're having a great week so far welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Sammy and I make mommy lifestyle and Leo content which is content for police wives so today I just wanted to do kind of a relaxed video and a get ready with me so I've had a crazy morning and I'll just be honest I don't do my makeup every day Especially if I'm not going anywhere. Um, when I'm working, of course I do, because I have to do it for work. I mean, I probably wouldn't have to, but I would feel really, really unprofessional if I didn't do it. <laughs> um, so today I'm just going to do kind of a get ready with me and my everyday makeup routine. And I love makeup. It's become kind of a secondary thing since I became a mom. Um... It's just not as important anymore. <laughs> and I always swore I won't be one of those moms who, you know, doesn't do her makeup and doesn't do, you know, put cute outfits on. But motherhood is hard and you don't always get time for it every day. <laughs> Sometimes you forget to eat. So <laughs> usually on the days that I have makeup on, it's because I literally put Oliver in the bathroom sink and left him there while I got ready. So. I'm going to get ready on camera and I've never not used a mirror so I do have a little mirror here but I'm usually in the bathroom where there's a much bigger mirror so I'm just gonna we're just gonna see how this goes <laughs> so I always prime my face um, I am using the Arbonne makeup primer um, I am NOT somebody who's like super picky about primers I find them to all be kind of the same I mean maybe I just haven't had like a life-changing one um, but like Arvon is a little bit more expensive I love their skincare I did sell it for a while but um, just found that it wasn't really for me um, but I don't find a difference between Arvon makeup primer that's $22 or $23 whatever it is and elf primer that's $4 I I think it's all the same that's just my honest opinion um, Maybe somebody in the comments will disagree, but <laughs> this is uh, this is my opinion. So this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. I'll try and get a better my my light there is picking up on it, but um, I have used this for like three four years probably, and I love it. It's just literally it's my go-to. I have the Born This Way foundation, but I find that it's just a little bit too yellow for my skin. And so it's just, I have to adjust everything. Like I have to put on more powder and I have to do lighter, like a lighter powder because it just doesn't go with my skin very well. So I use it for special occasions because the coverage is really beautiful. Um, and I wore it on my wedding day, but I do not wear it every day. And I think it's just like, it's too much coverage for me. I don't want to look cakey or you know something like that um but this this l'oreal tree match is like it's just perfect for every day and i love it so i just dot it on my face and then just place it everywhere my everyday makeup routine is pretty simple i don't go like crazy with everything i do um I do contour and I do use concealer if I notice like a lot of dark spots or something like that. But I don't go like with a really heavy hand on it. So everyone just feel like you're just like a hundred times better with just foundation on. <laughs> I mean I think I could just wear foundation and be happy about it like it wouldn't bother me at all. Well, I say that, but I mean, I do contour or I bronze. Like, I usually do one or the other because I don't want to have just a flat face. I do want to have some dimension to my face, so I guess I'm a little high maintenance. I don't know. But, yeah, I used to do my makeup every day and, like, new eyeshadow. I have the Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette, which is gorgeous. It's a beautiful palette. Um, but I just don't, I don't use it all the time. I just... I love it and I use it when I'm like going out on a special occasion or um, like I use a lot of the um, like basic colors in it and those are really beautiful but I don't use it every day so this is the Maybelline um, I can't 
can't remember what the name of it is, just besides that it's Maybelline. And as you can see, it is well loved. It's the only concealer I use. I have the Age Rewind, the Instant Age Rewind concealer. It's okay. I know some people like swear by it, but for me, this one works just fine. And I really do love it. So, I do have a little bit of redness right there, so I'm just going to conceal that. And I do, I do feel better when I make time to do it, so I probably should make it more of a priority, honestly, because as a mom, it's, like, really hard because you suddenly are just, like, solely responsible for this little tiny human. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so you kind of lose yourself a little, and that's not intentional or anybody's fault. It just, it's just natural. It's just what happens. And so, um, I think that it's maybe something I should prioritize more. I usually do it, like, when I'm not, my job, I'm an on-call, so I don't work every day. Um, so when I'm home, I don't prioritize it as much, but I still usually do my makeup at least twice a week. So, I'm using the Real Techniques brushes. This is, I think this is the powder this is the buffing brush, and I am using the, <laughs> it's completely rubbed off, because that's how much I've used it, the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Translucent Powder, and as you can see, it is well loved, and I just put this all over my face. I have pretty dry skin, so I didn't ever used to use powder because I felt like it just brought out the dryness even more, but honestly, I don't know. I think I think it does make a difference in in my coverage and in my my powder staying. Um, I think it really does help. So let's see what's next. So usually I do contour. Okay, now this is a funny story. So I live on a pretty tight budget, and I always wanted the Kat Von D um, contour palette, but I couldn't afford it. And I really, really wanted the contour for my wedding day. And so on the website, and I think on Sephora, you can buy the singles just like as a refill for the palette. So that's what I did. And I think it cost me like $16 or something like that. And that's how I got my Kat Von D contour shade. <laughs> because listen, listen, makeup is expensive. Oh no. I have way too much powder on that brush. There we go. That's better. <laughs> um, makeup is expensive. And as much as I would love to spend all my money on makeup, it's just not really practical. Whew, I just am really, I think the lighting is throwing me off. I'm really getting too much contour there. It's buffing out good though. That's one thing I will say about her, um, at least with this one. I think this is the shade S Somber, I think. Um, they blend beautifully. So if you do have a little bit too heavy of a hand, um, it's not like the end of the world. <laughs> Even though it might feel like it <laughs> in the moment. And I'm very fair. I don't really tan. I did go get a tanning bed, like go to the tanning bed for my wedding because I was so pale. I was afraid that I was just going to look washed out on my wedding day. But as like naturally, my skin does not tan. I just burn like horribly. So that's the only contour I use. When I use bronzer, I use, um, what's it called? Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and it's really beautiful. So this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Mellow Wine, and this is the only blush I have used. Man, my lighting is horrible. In um, three years, <laughs> like since I found this blush, it's just my go-to. I just, I love it. I do have other blushes that occasionally I will use for like a more special occasion or like if I want a different look, but this is perfect for like every day. And sometimes I don't do blush and bronzer. Sometimes I just do one. Like, I don't always do both. And then I just kind of blend it all in together. 
And when I'm not doing this on camera, I can do this in like 20 minutes. Or 20 minutes. 10 minutes. Um, but since I'm talking and sometimes I can do it less than that. So I have all my brushes off here to the side and I'm trying to find the one I want to use. So this is the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells palette. It's really, really beautiful. And um, I actually really, really love Wet n Wild eyeshadows. I think they're really lovely. And they have a beautiful consistency and they do last like all day. So um, even though I have the Jaclyn Hill palette and I have a, the Naked Heat palette, somebody gave that to me for Christmas and, and it's really beautiful too. Um, but I don't often, the Jaclyn Hill palette was a gift too. I don't often spend my money on eyeshadows even though I really, really love them just because, I don't know, I, I just, I find drugstore options that are just as beautiful, so that's what I go with. But this is like, this is one of my favorite palettes. I've used it for a long time as an everyday eyeshadow look. I just kind of, I'm not real precise with this, I just kind of get it there into the crease and get some color in there. I love the pink shade in this palette. It's really, really lovely. Like sometimes on days when I'm just like, and especially in the spring, I'll just wear it by itself because it's really, really pretty. But right now in the winter, we need some more color, I think. I say that as I'm putting brown on my eyes. But you guys know what I mean. Also, these Wet n Wild eyeshadow br brushes are Phenomenal. They're amazing. I love Wet n Wild. They're one of my favorite drugstore brands. L'Oreal and Wet n Wild probably. And I do really love e.l.f.'s products. They have some really nice ones. So then I just take my little blending brush and just make sure everything's blended together. And then everybody, they say that everybody's eyes, like eyelids are different. Like they're not two perfect eyelids. And that's so true for me because I always get like on one side I get my crease to look like perfect. And then on the other side, it's like, <laughs> nope, not having it today. So then I do my eyebrows. Now this is going to be fun to do on camera. I've never done this on camera. So I'm just going to kind of get up close. Sorry, everyone, if you don't want to be that close to me. And I just realized that I left my setting spray in the bathroom. But I use the Max Fix Plus setting spray. And I actually really, really, really love it. I've really seen a difference. I do believe in the difference in setting sprays. There's a huge difference in e.l.f. setting spray and MAC Fix Plus. And it does make a difference in the, in the longevity of your makeup and in the finish of it. So... Well, that's not too bad. I usually take a really long time to do my eyebrows because I'm really, really picky about them. I used to not do my eyebrows at all. And I look back at pictures of when my husband and I first met and I'm like, babe, babe, how did you love me? I, I had no eyebrows. Which part of that was the first time I went and got my eyebrows done, I was 18. <laughs> Isn't that insane? I was 18 and I just went to a Sally's or something like that. And the lady, I told her I just wanted to clean them up because they were, oh my gosh, guys, they were bad. And I told her I just wanted to clean them up. She took them off. Like, I only had little tiny bits. And she took off, like, the whole end. Like, I still have hairs growing in here. Needless to say, I never went back to that place. And my sister Cassie basically does my eyebrows. I go and get them cleaned up every great once in a while. But I've never, I've always been too afraid to like let someone touch my eyebrows ever again. Because it took forever for them to grow back. By the way, that was the e.l.f. brow gel and setting powder. I don't use the powder, I just use the gel. And I really love this. I've gone through probably three of these. And lastly, since I don't have my setting spray, I'm using the L'Oreal Luminous Carbon Black Mascara. By far my favorite. I've tried the Better Than Sex Mascara. I've tried um, the Lash Paradise Mascara. I've tried a Mega Lash by, I think it's Covergirls who makes that. 
Nothing compares, guys. Nothing compares. And I'm someone who just, I love my, I feel naked without brows and mascara. I really do. If I have those two things, I can go all day without makeup. And I'll feel like, I'll feel okay. And the funny thing is, is I didn't even used to put mascara on. This is not a perfect makeup look, I will just say. I am not a makeup guru. Well, I used to be, kind of. But, it is my everyday look. And this is a beautiful, beautiful lipstick. It is Tropical Tan by Tarte. And this was also a gift, and it's beautiful, and I love it. So, that's my everyday makeup look. And then... I, you know, do my hair and look presentable and look like a human being and don't scare away the children. <laughs> so normally I would apply the MAC Fix Plus to this and this would be my everyday makeup look. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, comment below, let me know what your favorite makeup products are and if you aren't following me on social media, check out my Instagram, Facebook, and blog. They're all linked below and I will see you in the next one. Bye!